This is JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and we are coming at you live, as the name might suggest, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida at MetroConnect 2023. And I am here with my new best friend, Mr. Michael Donahue. Michael is the Managing Director of Business Development for Cumulus Data. Michael, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for the nice introduction. Yeah, you bet. And thank you for the amazing um, uh, reception last night. That was a great party. You guys yeah, really, we, had a, we had a lot of fun last night. You did a great, great job. The music was good. The food was good. <laughs> the um, the conversation was great. So thank you, very, excellent. Yes. thank you very much for that. Um, but for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Cumulus Data? Absolutely. I would love to. You know, part of the reason why we had a, a big event last night was we're kind of like the new kids on the block. We are... Um, we're an energy company that's getting into the data center space. Mm -hmm. So we own uh, Talent Energy is the parent company of Cumulus Energy, Cumulus uh, Data. Mm -hmm. And we own 20 power plants across the nation. And our flagship is our nuclear power plant, Susquehanna. And if we go back a few years ago, we basically were selling our product to a market that didn't want it anymore. And we look two, you know, 200 miles down to Northern Virginia, mm -hmm. and we see everybody wanting our product. And so what we try to figure out is well, how do we how do we move our product to where everybody wants it? So we said, why don't we just go build a data center directly connected to our nuclear power plant, which is carbon free, reliable, and extremely low cost. And so you know, a year and a half later, we're here. Um, we energized the site two weeks ago. And we can't be more excited to, you know, think about the rest of the year. Yeah, I love it. And, and you and I kind of got into this a little bit last night. I, you know, I was thinking that, you know, we used to 10, 20 years ago, uh, think about data, set, data centers as, you know, space and power and things like that. But that power piece um, has really come back into the spotlight because uh, with uh, sustainable energy being a big focus, um, you can't really provide that power uh, for the long term without thinking environmentally. And that's exactly what uh, what you folks are doing and that's exactly right. what you know JSA has been talking about um, here now for, for uh, many months, many years actually. Um, but let's talk a little bit about sustainability and, and that energy and, and you just energize, I love the word energize. Uh, you just energize your data center. But let's talk a little bit about that energy and that and, uh, as it relates to your sustainability efforts. What can you tell us about that? For sure. So the, the data center industry in general, I think, has done a tremendous job at trying to you know, be the, the point of the spear in, in driving the climate agenda across the world. Yeah. And everybody's gone out and put these ambitious targets to you know, buy all these raw offsets and whatnot. To off to offset the power usage in the data center, mm -hmm. and you know that I think that is an extremely noble first step. But what we found is that people are buying offsets from Texas to offset Virginia and in different places where their power really directly isn't. Yeah. And again, great first step, but we want to take it to the next level. And what we're trying to do is actually provide clean electrons directly into the data center. And so by putting our data center directly connected to our nuclear power facility, those are those are clean, carbon-free electrons powering our data center. Um, we think of our solution not as you know, you know, if or then or binary, mm -hmm. but it's you know just the next step in the evolution of data centers. We think that you know we're going to be the first of a trend of people moving their load closer to where the generation is, mm -hmm. you know, closer to maybe where wind and power is, um, closer to a lot closer to nuclear. No, we, I love it. I mean, it, when we talk about the edge, often we're talking about putting that data center as close to kind of the end user, mm -hmm. kind of that, that data process. But we're also, you know, with, the, with this model, we're getting it as close to the power source as humanly possible, too. Exactly. There's efficiencies there as well. This, to me, feels like the future of, of data center power and sustainability within the industry. So there, it definitely is. And I think that to, to give a little plug on nuclear, one of the things that people don't realize is that um, over the life cycle of the of the power generating facility, nuclear actually has the lowest greenhouse gases, mm -hmm. um, lower than wind, lower than solar. We're building wind and solar. We love wind and solar. Yes. But I think we have to make sure that we we help elevate all the pieces of the equation so that we can get to net zero as quick as possible. Um, and that because these generating facilities, like so our 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 um, nuclear facility had the life cycle is at least another 40 years. Mm -hmm. You have 40 years of clean power being produced. And we need to find a, a home for those electrons. And like, if we think about what, what is the best industry out there that wants to pay 
for those clean electrons that mm -hmm. is going to be around for the next 40 years. That's another key piece. Yeah. What industry is going to be around for the next 40 years? Data centers will definitely be. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel about uh, including uh, nuclear power as part of your, your ESG plan? That yeah. sounds like a really good idea to me. For sure. Um, but um, so speaking of the future, uh, and, and I feel like we can talk, uh, you know, another three <laughs> hours about this, but we don't have that kind of time. But uh, so uh, speaking of the future, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what the future holds or what you believe the future holds for, uh, for Cumulus data? No, absolutely. So uh, in 2023, I think our our primary goal is to get a customer in the first building. Mm -hmm. um, we put a we built a 48 megawatt shell, and and we have the ab ability to scale up to about a thousand megawatts on our campus. So you know we have to start small, get a, get a customer in the first building, and then we'll think about expanding. You know, complete phase one and into phase two and three. I love it. And hopefully there's many, many phases uh, for you and your uh, yes. future customers to, uh, to come. So thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you very much. You got it. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.